All right, greetings guys, it's Irish here. So recently I have made a few changes to my Linux again. Um, I was on Arch Linux and a lot of stuff was irritating me in a way. <clears throat> um, System D for sure. Anytime I would close the lid to my laptop, it would go to sleep even though I did disable it under the system D configuration and then anytime I my screen went black it would go away I did install XFCE power management or power manager that didn't really help at all so I decided to move back to Gentoo actually um, and then as I was installing it I was uh, trying to install my Xmonad now, my last video I showed you how to do Xmonad with Polybar. There's a program that you need called Xmonad-Log. It is not in the repos for um, inside Gentoo. So if we just do Xmonad.Log, the only thing that is there is the log applet to get GNOME and XFCE going. However, that is not the correct one. There is another uh, thing that I would have to do. Um, I would have to install it through Git and all that stuff. I did get it to run uh, with Xmonad. Xmonad would just flash and go back to the TTY and I couldn't figure it out. I did uh, eventually did figure it out. When I was on Arch, I was using the latest GHC, which is the GNU compiler or Haskell compiler, and it was pointing to that. And on here, the latest is GHC 8.02. Sorry, 8.0.2. And the strange thing is, I have only been off of Gentoo for maybe a couple months two months three months at tops and in that time for what maybe it happened during my within my three years but they do not have a stable gent or a, a, a stable x monad i have to enable i have to unmask it and all that stuff so i put in a poll um which one you guys would like to see and <clears throat> Many of you uh, wanted BSPWM, which I do have installed. I do still on plan on making my uh, polybar theme, so I will go back into that. I'm kind of going to pull somewhat of a distro tube in a way and have a bunch of window managers installed just to see which ones I like. So as of right now, the majority of that poll was B or uh, DWM. Now, in the past, I have ran DWM twice, but I did not like it. But the thing is, I think I just did not theme it correctly, especially the last one where I ran it through uh, through DWM through uh, Gentoo. So if we look through here, you can actually save uh, save a config file and go through that way. And then I was running into errors, running, uh, trying to configure it and uh, patch it and all that. So I've been watching a lot of Kai Hendry. I watched Meshi's latest video and it got me spurred on. And I also found a new YouTuber uh, who's got about the same amount of subscribers as myself called Mental Outlaw. He does a bunch of DWM uh, tech. He does mostly tech but he is on Gentoo and DWM and I did watch his video and he actually got the stable version through Suckless. So um, just to so I did download it through here. The strange thing was it, I had to kind of relearn so when I downloaded it, it only came with a config.def.h. So I had to create a config.h. Now I have noticed that 
anytime that I do a patch, this, the def.h, does get patched, but not the config.h. So I kind of have to manually do it in a way. <clears throat> I only have installed four, I only use four patches. The gapless grid, since I only use really the grid um, when I, whenever I was using it on Xmonad, I use per tag. So now the per tag is very useful. So say I'm in monocle mode, which is right here. Actually, let's uh, <clears throat> open up a bunch of others here. So as you can see, there's three windows open here. Now, if I decide to go to tag four, I'm actually back to tiling. So now I can just open it up again. So, which is nice to have because without the tagless or per tag patch, all your tags have the same layout and that kind of got annoying when going between the two tags. The next one that I have <clears throat> that I used probably a lot is move stack. So let's go back to that. So we'll keep that open. We'll do H top here. Uh, and we'll do slur here. So now if somehow it gets messed up here, I can move this over by moving it up. So without this uh, without this uh, patch, I'm unable to do that. The downside in a way to the gapless grid is I still have that little pixel uh, around the borders and stuff like that. So it's not completely gapless, but it's close enough and it gets me into my 4x4 four four, or 2x2 two two here. I, I prefer my layout this way. Let's exit out. I've only made a few changes. I'm using URXVT. I may move and try the ST terminal. Um, or I might just use Termite. Uh, I've been um, interested in that. So I'll show you what my config looks like. Actually, I have a alias now for it. So I have created my brightness and volume controls which I needed. Uh, this the status bar I took from Kai Hendry. The only thing that I need left is a brightness indicator. Even though I probably don't need it, I probably honestly don't need a bar, but I may go barless. So same thing with the per tag here. So now that it's barred, I can unbar it. So if I'm watching a movie on tag three, I can go full bar and I could see where everything is. But I may go barless. We'll see. I have been watching a lot of Dex or uh, Hex DSL. He goes very minimal bar. Uh, one of his guys that he does a lot of videos with, Drew, he goes barless. I have tried going barless before, but. Uh, I don't know, I do like my my pretty bar. Uh, I may go to DWM Blocks. Now, if you have watched Meshi's video on why DWM is the best, he gets great battery life. But he's got this great indicator up here <clears throat> um, that shows weather, shows up and down. It shows your brightness, your volume, date, date and time. And it's got like little, like what would be font awesome icons, which I like. And I have added my font awesome on here, which I think makes it even looks a little bit better for me. I'll show you where that is. So under your fonts, you all you need to do is put a comma, font awesome, your size, anti alias, auto hint, put another comma, and that's it. When I first moved over to DWM, I made this change. 
and for whatever reason I was locked on the first tag and all the other tags were highlighted. Now I can do that with a mod 0 so now all of my tags whatever I have is now on 1 but then I can just go back. I wasn't able to do that. So um, I will see how well I like this to see maybe this will be my new maybe my new desktop or uh, window manager from the time being. As long as I can get the little brightness indicator I'll be happy with just as minimal as this is. Uh, normally I also have a system tray to see about my recording, um, volume control, uh, redshift indicator or redshift dash GTK and uh, various other stuff on here. I'm going to try to go without a system tray because everything that I can do I can do through the terminal. So um, as long as I can do the brightness control up here indicator because <clears throat> whenever I need to change it I need to set it to a, a specific spot um, for when my wife and I go to bed I'm still tinkering on the laptop. Oh, <clears throat> one other thing really quick is Firefox, I did change it. So normally it, it will say one less less and then the number eight. That actually is the tag nine. So because they say zero in a lot of programming languages, zero is the first thing and then you count down to one or one, two, three. So this would be technically tag zero, two, sorry, zero, one, two, three, all the way up to eight. So to make it to go to the very first tag is tag zero. So now that I'm on tag three, I open up my Firefox. As you can see, that little indicator goes straight to my Firefox. I am tempted to go to Qt Browser again because uh, of low, lower resource. Uh, I have also noticed that there was good, uh, let me show you HTOP. I have noticed on some people's videos that their memory usage is really low, but with Firefox open, I'm using simple screen recorder and some other background. I'm not using anything more than what I was using on Xmonad, so maybe a little less, especially with some swap here. So I don't know um, if it's really any more efficient than the others, just because you have a bunch of background stuff like Compton for my transparency um, and other startup scripts and stuff like that that I have. So we'll see. Um, again, I will keep this on my system and I will try to create this. And if I cannot get the brightness display up here, I will go to DWM Blocks and I will make a video on that. And I still um, plan on making a video on how to theme your polybar. But I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing for the last few days. Um, I do like it's a right, the patching does remind me of when I was on LFS when I did my LFS build you do a bunch of patching with that um, the downside from what I've gathered is anytime so if they go to a 6.3 version of DWM none of the changes none of the patches will switch over you can like create like a side branch and merge it with the main branch. It's to me that gets really complicated. So for the most part, again, I'm testing out to see if there is a better window manager than Xmonad for me. I do love Xmonad now that I have it pretty much the way I want it. Um, I'm sure I'll change some stuff and maybe I, I will create a scratch pad here also. I do plan on trying to minimize my patches. 
<clears throat> I've only mentioned three patches. My last patch is I can restart my X or my DWM <clears throat> with a command mod control shift and Q that will refresh it so anytime that I change something in here you have to re recompile everything and then you have to pretty much log out log back in for the changes to make unless you have this thing so if I change uh, I don't know uh, if I change any one of these things I can just refresh it and it will change uh, let's try maybe changing a <coughs> the gray color I usually go three 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 so here save it I have a thing to rebuild so now if I just do a control shift Q the the color has changed to a different shade of gray the downside to this patch though is if you have anything's open it's gonna merge it into the first tag so then you'll you will have to rearrange some stuff so like my two 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 three nine Oh. Oh, my bad. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so that's what I've been playing with. Um, again, I will play with B BSPWM also. I actually was starting to enjoy that one too. Um, now that I have that one configured for, for the way that I like it. So let me know if you guys have tried DWM. Um, this was not like a spur of the moment yes I have played with this in the past but I don't think I was configuring it correctly and I didn't have as many videos out there I think a lot of many of the mainstream Linux youtubers for the most part have done a DWM like that area has exploded so because I remember when I first started i3 there was like hardly any videos out there pretty much nothing with DWM, nothing with Herbstluft, nothing with Xmonad except like a brief here, here's my display, here's my desktop. So I, one of the reasons why I created the channel was to actually get some of the content out there. Now for whatever reason DWM, the whole suckless thing has exploded. I'm sure Kai Hendry had a lot to do with it because a lot of people do love his stuff. Um, so, possibly, but I don't know. But yeah, um, sorry, now I'm rambling. But uh, hopefully you guys are staying safe and doing all the stuff that we need to get rid of this stupid virus. And I will catch you in the next video. Hopefully that will be tomorrow night or later tonight. So maybe I'll put out a twofer today. So. I will catch you guys in the next video.